In this video, we're gonna show you how to build a T-post corner assembly using a lock jaw corner brace kit. Whether you're building an entire fence out of T-posts or you're looking for an alternative for your corner, the lock jaw T-post brace kit is a great alternative. So our first step is gonna be driving our corner post on our mark. This is our mark right here. When we drive this corner post, it's not super particular which direction it's facing because the lock jaw kit allows us to do 360 degrees no matter what face of the post is facing what direction. Once our corner is in place, we can attach the upper sockets so that our diagonal post goes down and that gives us a mark for both of our remaining vertical posts. Here's a look inside the lockjaw corner brace kit. First off, you have the barrel connector. You'll notice there's a split in the barrel. This split is what slides down the spine of the T-post until you get it at the height you want. Inside, there's a stud that will land in between two studs on the T-post, locking it in place. And when you slide this on the T-post, you want to make sure that these teeth are facing downward. So next we have the upper socket. This comes in two pieces and you just simply snap that together. The teeth on the upper socket is what catches the barrel connector and locks it into place, and your T-post slides in the open end. Similar to the upper socket is the foot socket. It's two pieces as well. Just simply snap it in. Again, your T-post slides in the open end, and this slot is what catches the bottom of the next T-post to lock your diagonal into place. You'll also notice on the bottom of the foot, there's a couple spikes that help hold this foot in place before everything is fully assembled. The other thing to note about the foot is that when you snap this into place, the T-post receiver is facing the same direction as the upper connector with the spine of the T-post aligned. And they also include for you just a couple of Lockjaw 360 degree insulators for you to use. These Lockjaw 360 insulators easily clip onto a T-post for wire, twine, or small rope applications, and they can be installed at any angle on the T-post. So our first step is getting our barrel connector onto our T-post. Again, we're gonna be using the split in the barrel to get started on the spine of the T-post. You might have to use your fingers to pry it open a little bit. So now we can slide it down the post until that internal stud is in between two studs on the T-post where we want it installed. So we're gonna slide this down until it's between the next two studs, and then we're gonna lock it in place just by popping it with our palm. And that locks it in place, and that's all the further it can slide. All right, next we're gonna be working with our diagonal T-post. We're gonna go ahead and knock the plate off the bottom of here. Since this is an equine pasture, that's just one less injury hazard for them. Can we slay this next one down beside you? Sure. With the plate knocked off of our diagonal post, we're ready to install both our foot socket and our upper socket onto the diagonal. So simply line up your spine and you'll have to push it over the studs. There's your foot. We'll put the foot on the ground and we'll install the upper socket. Now these teeth will sit right inside the teeth on the barrel connector. And this will give you an idea where your foot needs to be lining up with your next vertical post. With our foot on the ground, we're ready to drive our next vertical post. So this will act as our mark. All we need to do is line up the rib of this T-post in that slot. Now we can pull this post away so that we can drive our vertical post. Now we can align the slot on our foot with the rib of the T-post. This diagonal brace is complete. We're gonna repeat the same steps of the process on the other side to complete the second half of the corner brace.
One nice thing about the lock jaw system is that because of this barrel connector, you can set two different braces at different heights as needed for tension. You can also see here that we're not quite tight yet, but what we can do is pop our barrel connector off and slide it down another set of studs. This gives us a little bit more torque on that fence and it'll tighten things up. One advantage of the lockjaw system is these diagonal posts are now fully insulated, being that there is an insulator at the top and the bottom. Whenever you run your electric, if that fence touches this post, you're not going to ground out your entire fence. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice, and check out our website to see our full lineup of products, including these lockjaw brace kits.